Hey guys, Sean here. Got some good news. Uh, the Blue Hill UL2 stove ring is back in stock. Uh, story goes, the last company um, basically jacked their price about 400%, saying they didn't want to do smaller orders anymore. Um, now, I'm not going to order 1,000 to 2,000 of these uh, stoves at a crack. Um, my orders are typically between 100 to 300. Um, so we found a company that would work with smaller orders. Uh, pricing is is better, um, which is fantastic. Uh, we, you know, we've worked hard to keep this at a common man's price. Um, I'm not a greedy man at all. Uh, but one thing I do like is I like quality at an affordable price. Um, let's face it, uh, money's tight nowadays. So whatever gear I buy um, needs to hold up. Uh, it's just that simple. Um, now we did change a couple things on it. Um, the original stain, uh, metal was a polished stainless. Um, I forget what gauge that is, uh, but uh, it's it's held up well. Um, you could take these things, throw them right in the coals, or scoop some coals out, set them down, uh, throw your pot on it, blah blah blah. Uh, we did go with a 304 stainless, which is unpolished. Uh, it is a little bit thicker, so those are the two things that we changed. Um, uh, dimensionally, they're, they're still all the same except for the thickness, of course. The vertical vans, the horizontal vans, uh, dog legs, and uh, the tabs um, are all the same. So they do weigh just a few grams more than the old ones, um, which we'll get to that here in a little bit. Um, now, all the options are still there. Uh, we are discontinuing the UL1 currently, uh, simply because the UL2 takes care of everything on that. Um, a lot of people were ordering these just to make an IKEA hobo stove out of. Um, Karen Chalky originally came up with this idea. She's a fantastic woman. If you guys haven't checked her out, search her channel on YouTube. She's just just an amazing woman. Uh, does a lot within the bushcraft community. Um, so what she had done um, was uh, took one of these canisters, uh, took her Dremel tool, cut some slots in there, and then bent the tabs straight up uh, and out a little bit, and locks on the bottom. Um, it stays on there. So really what that does is it allows a lot more airflow, um, and your ashes and stuff drop through. So uh, excellent idea she had. Um, so. Now, even though that we're discontinuing the UL1, uh, the UL2 will still work for that, put it up a little bit higher. Um, and the tabs will be a little bit more difficult um, to, to bend. You can still do it with your fingers. Um, but again, you know, it's a little bit thicker metal. So um, when you're putting it directly in the coals, there will be a lot more uh, uh, longevity with it. So it's a good deal. Good, good, good deal. Um, still fits the Trangia. Um, but as with all of them, as you can tell there, the right tab sits a little bit higher uh, than the rest of them. And then the reason being is because it's it's sitting in the threads. Uh, it's still very stable, and I'll show you that here. Uh, let me move that one out of the way. We'll get down here, and I'll wiggle this with my finger just so you guys can see how stable that is. That's not going to tip over on you, which is fantastic. So, yep, you betcha. Uh, works on, let's see here, if you got stainless water bottles, set that there, like that. Um, still ver uh, fits virtually any can in your cupboard, as long as it's approximately that size, plus or minus uh, an inch or half inch, somewhere in that area. Uh, cat food cans, um, and what's nice about this is you can uh, create a stove that uh, burns solid fuels, liquids, uh, uh, wood, fat wood, uh, pine cones, you know, uh, really the options are unlimited. Um, and what's nice about this system is um, you can design your stove to cook how fast you want it to. Some people want to boil water in 3-4 minutes, well you can do that. Um, Here's a setup right here. Um, I was just playing around with this. Uh, but with all these holes in there, I should be able to get about a three and a half to a four minute boil on two cups of water. Uh, the dog legs are here, of course. Uh, they will be shipped unbent. Um, that way you can bend them around the can of your choice. Uh, this is a rimless one. 
you see how it locks on there here's one that's rimmed just a tuna can um, so it would be virtually impossible for me to uh, know what you're going to use so that would be a user option um, yeah so I'm pretty excited about this I gave this project to my son um, for part of his graduation gift it is a million dollar idea it's uh, been in two national magazines uh, there's been a couple of well-known uh, bushcrafter slash youtubers that have, have tried to copy this uh, but thankfully uh, uh, the YouTube uh, bushcraft community shut them down um, which was fantastic so thank you for the support guys um, yeah it is it's exciting uh, he's he's uh, hopefully going to be able to take it to the next level. He's got some marketing behind him. He's got graphic design. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'll be working with him on it, of course. Uh, but he's going off to school in the fall. Uh, and I think it'll be good for him. It'll teach him some new, uh, some new uh, uh, skill sets, per se. Help round him out a little bit more. But uh, there you go, guys. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you guys the weight, the weight difference. Uh, turn this on. Let's grab this old one out of here. Um, now this is an old one with the uh, thinner stainless that was polished. Uh, on, flip that. What do we got? 33.2 grams. Now we'll go with one of the new ones here. That one's sitting right at 41 grams. Now there has been a little bit of a variance, uh, a few tenths of a gram plus or minus on these, and I don't know if it's the density of the metal or my scale, uh, but it's approximately 41 grams. So uh, there you go, guys. Um, sorry I had to turn away everybody over the last few months, uh, but um, as you now know, uh, the uh, uh, production issue that we had with that other company so we found a good good company now. The uh, the quality is is I don't know I think ten times better. Uh, the corners are cleaner. We get uh, nice uh, nice square, clean lines, which is fantastic. So uh, anyway, there you go, guys. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll talk to you later. All right, bye bye.